What's up guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 Settlement Tips and Tricks video and today we're going to be playing with junk. We're going to be taking a look at collecting it, scavenging it, scrapping it, uh, using it in your settlement builds, using it uh, as part of the manufacturing systems, as the you know, material you need in the forges and basically the best way to make use of this junk so that way you're not wasting any of the resources or any of the components that make it up. So the first thing I want to show you is probably something most of you already know, something that I didn't realize right away, but um, after I did realize this, it kind of changed the way I collected, scrapped, and used my materials. So we're going to take a look at just building a simple wood wall right here. So as you can see, I have three um, out of three wood that is needed to build this wall. Now, if I get back out of there and I take a look at what I have in my inventory, at least what's in the junk area, you can see I have this mop, which contains two wood and two cloth. Now, what's going to happen is if I build that wall, it's actually going to remove the um, auto save. That's good. Perfect timing for that. Um, if I build the wall, it's actually going to remove the mop from my inventory. Uh, and it's going to use the wood to build that wall. So as you can see now I don't have any wood left and the mop was removed, which is fine. The problem is that mop also contains two cloth. So basically what happens is when I use that mop to build this shack wall, I lose out on that two cloth. It disappears, I don't get it back. It's just used up uh, because the mop was used up with the wood. Now what you could do to avoid from that from happening is you just, you know, you go into your uh, pit boy and you go over to your junk and you were to drop something, I don't have anything on me right now, but um, you just drop something, you can then have the option to scrap it. And if you scrap it, for example, if I would have dropped that mop and then scrapped it, I would get the two wood, but I would also get the two cloth, they would go straight to my workshop and I'd still be able to build that wall using the wood from that uh, mop but I wouldn't lose the cloth so not a big deal it does add up over time though so you want to be careful with this for some of the other materials um, you know some of the other materials that have or some of the other pieces of junk that have multiple pieces of material in it uh, let's see if I can give you an example up here so if you were to you know, take a look at this alarm clock, if you build something that needs glass, you're also going to lose aluminum, spring, and nuclear material. Now, if you were to take this out and scrap it separately, you will get all of that material straight to your workbench, and then you don't miss out on anything. Now, the same thing happens uh, when you're using the forges and the conveyor belt systems for manufacturing. You know, uh, if I go back and use that alarm clock as an example, if I'm building something that requires aluminum, the alarm clock will get used up and all the other material that was in there gets wasted or gets sent out. This is kind of harder to avoid from happening because you can't, unless you were to scrap all of your material, then pull the raw material out one by one, load it into your conveyor belt system, and then sort it all out and just use it that way. Now, one thing you can do is, uh, which I'll show you an example of right here, is, you know, you have your, we'll pretend this is a makeshift conveyor belt system. I've got this hopper loaded. If I were to turn it on, um, all of the material would travel down the conveyor belt system. Uh, just imagine there was a, what's it called, a forge uh, in line with all of this. It would then make the materials and then get stored right here. Now, that's fine. Everything goes through. Um, if something doesn't get used up, it just will sit there. Now, the problem is, like I said, if you use the alarm clock for an example, uh, you need something that builds alum or needs something that has aluminum in it, you're going to lose your glass, your spring, and your nuclear material. Um, so, like I said, the only way you can do that is if you break all the material down and then into the, your hoppers you just load up the raw material. Now if there are certain materials that you're specifically trying to avoid using up, uh, what you can do to make this a little more realistic or make it a little more interesting is um, you can put a component sorter in the middle of your work uh, in the middle of your manufacturing system. So I'm going to store this conveyor belt, go over to the component sorter 
And we're going to drop that right in line here. Uh, and I fell right off the side of the uh, building. Wonderful. Okay, so let's just run back up there real quick. Try not to do that again. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to put this component sorter in uh, towards the beginning of your whole conveyor belt system so it's one of the first things it goes through. So the purpose, uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to load in uh, three materials, for example, you may want to try to stock up on, which is ballistic fiber, copper, and glass. Like I said, just for an example, um, copper and glass, very useful in settlement building, and ballistic fiber, that's great for um, modding your armor, and also for building armor in the armor forge. So what you this will then do is if you turn this hopper on and let your conveyor belt system run, um, all material, no matter what it is, if it contains any of those three components, it will come out this way. And you can put a little component storage system right here. That way um, it doesn't get lost. Now everything else you can let run right through and continue on into the rest of your manufacturing system. Uh, this is a great way that you can make sure com um, raw materials or components you need and you don't want wasted will actually get stored and they'll end up you know, not getting wasted or anything like that. So it's just been a quick video showing you guys a little tr trick, a little tip, um, and also giving you some information. You want to make sure you guys didn't miss out on this, that you're not wasting materials, that you're making the best of everything. So make sure to hit that like button if you did learn anything in this video. If you guys got other ways of making this work or you guys do this in other um, possibilities, let me know in the comment section down below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Fallout 4 tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.